you ever wanted something to eat, were in a rush, went to the pantry cupboard, what have you, seen the chips, and been, I gotta get out of here, slapped some of those broken chips on a plate, sprinkled a little bit of cheese on top, slapped that hot mama in the microwave, put it in for a hot 30, and then, voila, you got a meal fit for a king. Well, what if I told you, you could do all that, but create your nachos on a master class level. My name is Justin Heath, and I've been in the business of not having enough time to do anything for years. And because of this, I've learned to lean on the crutches that are nachos, which, in their subsequent creation, serve as an efficient way of creating food that is both fast and affordable, with my job being to detail how you can be a top nacho connoisseur, a speed demon, able to create and serve for the benefit of you and your compatriots through the four main steps of procuring your preferred pre-baked ingredients, arranging the plate, heating the nachos, then adding any post-baked ingredients. First, we start with procuring our preferred ingredients, starting with our tortilla chips, be it concave, the classic triangle, or Doritos. Don't be afraid of getting creative. Anything can work as long as you try. And we got time constraints to work around, so get rolling. <laughs> Followed by collecting our preferred pre-baked ingredients. For example, your beans, your cheeses, your meats, the things that gotta bake. Next, we arrange the plate. Space out the placement of each individual chip so none invade one another's personal space and apply your preferred pre-baked ingredients to each individual chip in equal quantity so nobody's feeling left out. <laughs> we move on to heating our nachos. Put that smoking baby in the microwave for 30 seconds. <laughs> Check and see if the nachos are done when it's done. If it's not, slap it in for another 30. <laughs> Until it's sizzling. Take it out. And then we move on to adding our post baked ingredients, which may include onions, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, tomatoes, anything you could ever want. <laughs> The flexibility of the medium means you can try combinations only a madman would dream of. Sardines, you can certainly try. With these four man processes, all great nachos are not born, they are made. Hopefully with your own hands and at your own convenience. Which, through our new understanding of the basics of nacho creation, we can more accurately craft nachos unbeholden by man, blessed by the green thumb of the kitchen. Thank you.